Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So before I get into the actual review, I just want to let you guys know that I am just kind of taking a small break uh, within a break because I'm taking another break, a three week vacation actually, hopefully next week and I'll be going back to the United States and just kind of relaxing with the family. There's probably no room for me to do videos when I'm down there. I'm really just kind of taking a break and although I've been just not doing many videos now, I just want to really take that final stretch on this kind of like, not burnout, but it's really just me not having the motivation to keep making videos as of right now. There's the inspiration that I'm just kind of lacking to do so. But I'm hoping after this vacation, I'm gonna come back just much stronger and actually dedicated to making more like model kits as well as more videos. So hopefully that does occur. But for now, here I am making a video for you guys, and it's going to be on none other than the Omega Mon Clear version. This is going to be the Digimon Reboot series, kind of right before it came out with the Figure Eye Standard uh, Amplified. So it's, eh, it's not really going to be all that great, but let's just take a look at it. And New Type HQ has just replenished their stock, and it just so happened they got an Omega Mon in their stock. So hopefully it's still there whenever you see this video, and you can cop one for yourself. But on to the review. So for the box, there's really nothing too special. It's just, I think it's a P Bandai exclusive, or maybe it was one of those like limited things you can get only in a particular location. I really can't find too much information about this particular model, but I do know that online it's going for quite a bit. I seen it go for at minimum about 75 bucks and as high as like 150. I unfortunately did pick it up for about $75 out here in Japan. And it was like maybe a week ago, I found it for probably about 35. So I'm kicking myself in the ass right now but nonetheless th this is going to be a little bit more on the expensive side to get now straight out of the box it doesn't look bad obviously i don't have a lot of the stickers on here just because I'm, I'm thinking about painting a little bit of it at least the sticker portions but it doesn't look horrible in terms of surface level there's a lot of panels that you could definitely fill in and we're talking about a kind of clear and slash like pearl looking coating so this is something that you're probably not going to be too, doing too much like panel lining on. I think like maybe on the white parts is forgivable, but on the like blue and the, the orange, like you're pretty much not going to be doing any panel lining on that. At least I wouldn't expect anyone to. Now it is going to come with a hefty sticker sheet, but like I said, I've only applied like a few of them, which is going to be the sword as well as the eyes. Pretty much everything else I really just didn't bother with. Now it is going to have a few accessories. On the right arm is going to have your Metal Garurumon, and that's going to have the cannon in the mouth. Now it's going to have the small cannon, or you can have the big one that's actually protruding, so that way you know kind of replicates it shooting. Looks good. I think that looks a mighty fine cannon, to be honest. Lots of surface details, and it's just pretty bulky. On the left arm, you're going to have the War Greymon, and this is going to have the sword. Looks great, but obviously it being a giant sticker is pretty problematic. I think it would have been better if, like, I don't know, maybe you just make a silver sword. I think it could have been a couple of parts, maybe, like, have the uh, yellow underneath, and then you layer it with the black, and then you layer it with the silver. But this is obviously a cheaper run kind of model kit in its original state, so... I guess it is fair that it's just going to be a sticker. And the last accessory is just going to be the stand adapter. Now for articulation, everything is very simplistic. You basically just have ball joints and sockets for almost everything. Uh, the shoulders are fine. I mean, the waist is okay, but because it has like the giant white part in the front, it really cannot do any forward ab crunch. But I guess for the most part, the articulation is not bad. It's mainly just the arms that are just like really hulking and you can't do too many like crazy maneuvers with them with the shoulders and the actual like front of the hands. But I mean, I think for the most part, it's not bad in terms of articulation. Now, for comparisons, it is going to be next to the Banpresto Omega Mon. You also got it next to the D Arts line, as well as a little candy toy Omega Mon. And honestly, it looks just the worst of all these. I just, I guess I just really prefer the anime accurate Omega Mon than this kind of like mechanical look. Not to say a mechanical look doesn't look bad because the Omega Mon X antibody looks fantastic. I love that form and it kind of does have more of a mechanical look. But with this one, it just doesn't really translate that well. And I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of, I don't know, nostalgic for the actual design that I grew up with. 
Now, for my final thoughts, honestly, there's really not much else to say. This has already been a very short review, but to be honest, it's not really that special of a model kit. I do love Digimon with a burning passion, and I did have this in its like retail release back in like 2011, and it is a 2011 release, and it kind of just feels that way. It really feels dated. It doesn't feel good to pose. Uh, some joints are either too tight. Some joints are either too loose. The clear on the orange looks really cool, but... I don't know, it just doesn't really like, I don't know, it doesn't really vibe with me to be honest. Uh, maybe to some people this is like a hallmark and it's just like a, you know, the pinnacle of their collection, which is fine. Or if you just really love Omega Mon like I do, this is going to be a good addition to your collection just to kind of fill in the Omega Mons on your shelf. But and I'm going to be truthful to you guys, even if you get the original version and you don't get this expensive one, you know, I'm just going to say it's a drop it. I, I can't really see too many prices that can justify you purchasing it. Maybe less than 15 bucks can be justifiable, but I don't want to say it's a watch it on price tags because sometimes you're just never going to find this at a low enough price. I think you're always going to see it at 20 bucks and more because it is more of a rare kit. And if we're talking about the clear one in particular, which we kind of are, you're not going to find this for like less than $35. It's almost going to be impossible. So even at that point, I'm just really going to say hard drop it. And then for the normal release, if you want to do get, if you want to get that one with a burning passion, you can get it. I'm just telling you, maybe not get it for anything more than $15. Uh, but if you just want to say, hey, I think I'm going to do a good job painting it. You want to like, you know, paint up and do something crazy. I'm going to be painting my original version because I did buy an extra one for I think about like $25. But I'm going to paint that one in the Zwart color scheme. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, and maybe I might get my other one that I have that's kind of like a little junky version. And I might throw some engine wings on that and make that the merciful mode so it's a lot of things you can do with this and it's really I, I think it is pretty easy to just do some customizable work to it but for the most part I think this just is not something you want to add to your collection it might not even draw too many eyes to be honest people who like Digimon might enjoy it but I think for the most part it's just something that's just gonna be on the shelf and maybe in a few years you're more likely going to regret it but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching i i'm sorry that this is a little bit of a shorter video but i do want to kind of get this out there because i have a couple of things i want to do and i may i may actually want to get a couple more videos out before i leave for the united states next week so hopefully you know i can get this out and get a couple more uh, videos out there and then come back with a burning passion to make videos once more but honestly that's it for me and i do want to give a shout out to newtypehq.com for just being there and supporting me you know a lot of sponsors may just be like oh hey you haven't put out a video in like you know three weeks to a month we're gonna have to drop you but new type has never been like that they're always there to support me and i just you know i'm here i'm here for it to be honest and then also thank you to discord and all the members you guys are fantastic for never just you know doubting me or never you know like just bouncing and all that uh thank you all for supporting me and just being there to you know help me through all this but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next video bye bye